Hey guys, I'm Adam, and that's my dog. I'm a big guy who's trying to make some positive changes for his life, little by little, step by step, changing the way that I live, making small adjustments to the way that I live in order to improve my health. And my dog really wants me to throw her a toy, so let me just do that real quick. You guys may have noticed that I got a haircut. I cut all my hair off, all the way down to almost a buzz cut. And uh, it was just time. My wife and I have been talking about it, and it was just time to get rid of it. And, you know, it can't help. I mean, it can't hurt while I'm trying to lose a couple pounds, right? Maybe that was a pound of hair or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when I weigh myself tomorrow. Today, I weighed in at 308, which means we lost zero this week, but we didn't gain any either. So that's okay by me. You're not going to lose weight every single time you, uh, well, I'm not, I, haven't, I haven't lost weight every single week. But one of the reasons I want to talk about this, one of the reasons why I didn't lose weight this week is I have been trending up on my calories. I have been exerting less control and less uh, discipline over how much that I eat. And I've been eating 3,200 calories a day uh, some days instead of 3,000 or less. So you can see that my average for this week was uh just over 3,000 for my daily calories. And uh, I had a couple days at like 27, 26, uh, 2,800. So a couple days were 32, 3,300. And that's not doing me any favors trying to lose weight. I want to stay at that 3,000. I need to button it up, dial it back, and get more control over it. Uh, I found that whenever I have a regular work schedule, it's easier for me to control the amount of calories that I eat because I have the regular breakfast, regular lunch, and then we have whatever we have for dinner. So uh, having a, a little bit of a different schedule like this week, I was working later, which is difficult for me to, uh, to do. I don't like working later. And so whenever I'm unhappy, when I get home from work, I say, I'm gonna eat even more. And so that's one of the big problems for this week so I need to be careful of that. I need to still work more because we need the extra income right now, but I need to figure out a different way to cope with the way that I'm feeling besides just eating more. Uh, it's a temporary solution, but it is not a good long-term solution because it causes long-term weight gain and lack of being healthy, and I'm trying to head in the right direction. So that's it for... Uh, the update from this week. What about moving on into next week? Next week, for this week, starting today, I'm going to be doubling the amount of vegetables that I eat every day. I'm increasing it to two servings instead of one. One serving has been challenging enough, so we're really going to have to start focusing on getting those veggies in. I don't know if we're gonna start doing some kind of a shake or some kind of a smoothie so that we can just put a bunch of vegetables in there or if I'm just going to have to find a way to get vegetables in at lunch and dinner instead of just at dinner. Uh, we'll have to figure out how it's going to work. But um, one of the points of making a new, trying to establish a new habit is forcing yourself into that situation where you do have to figure it out. So anybody who's watching, if you eat at least two servings of vegetables today, Please tell me how do you do it? How do you do it? Uh, what? How do you work it into your daily life? Do you have maybe veggies at breakfast? Put some spinach in your eggs or something like that? I don't know. Uh, do you do a smoothie? Do you do... What do you do? And maybe your ideas will help me with some ideas for myself. So I think we're going to call it there. A little bit shorter video today, but that's okay. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful week. And I'll see you guys next time.